So a lot of people are also asking, what else can I do to enhance my yields? And this is a very simple example. This is a copper antenna obelisk, whatever you would like to call it, in order to harness the energy and ether that's all around us 24 7, 365, and also can be used to enhance the magnetism of your soil. When the magnetism of the soil starts to die, the soil also begins to die, the bacteria starts to go away, and the soil starts to disintegrate. So this is a very simple example of something that you can build, and you can build it as tall as you want. The taller you build it, the taller your plants will grow, and it will also harness more energy. So this, so this is another example of electroculture. What you're doing is you're laying down copper or brass north to south, running through the magnetic ley lines of the earth underneath your soil. And then you're going to install an antenna, which that's what that is up on top. That's going to gather the ether and you're going to put that on top of the dirt extending out maybe about 20 feet up on top. So you could harness the energy and it can come down and go right through your soil. And it's really fascinating. And then last but not least, we have work from Justin Cristo Flo, who was a very big pusher on electroculture because he learned with using electroculture and harnessing the earth's energy and ether, orgone, chi, we don't need fertilizer and we don't need pesticides. And that's why this was a threat to the system we currently have today, where the cost of pesticides keep going up, the cost of fertilizer keep going up, but the yields also start going down over time. With electroculture, you don't need any of that.